Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Indian Embassy, Ambassador of India, Shri Atrish Mishraji, I welcome you all for another culturally rich presentation under India Ireland Friendship Lecture Series. And today our guest speaker is an acclaimed Bharat Natyam dancer, Ms. Medhavani uh, Varakedi, disciple of Gurus Srimati Nirupma Rajendra and Shri T.D. Rajendra. She has learned Bharat Natyam from the tender age of 10 with the support of her family who is deeply rooted in Bharatiya Sanskriti. Ms. Medhavani did her MA in Bharat Natyam from Bangalore University and uh, presently works as faculty of Bharat Natyam at Abhinav Dance Academy. She has traveled and performed at several festivals and occasions across the country and also internationally. Presently, recently she has given a performance in British uh, Parliament and she is uh, uh, coming from London to uh, uh, Dublin. She has also done Katha under the guidance of her gurus. Today she will be presenting some newly designed movements researched by her gurus based on Desi Bharat Natyam and Mark from Natya Shastra. We are all very eager to witness her presentation. To begin with, to begin the event, I would request His Excellency, Ambassador of India, Shri Aklesh Mishra Ji, to kindly give his an introductory remarks to the presentation. So. Namaskar. Uh, my warm greetings to all who are connected with this program virtually, and also friends who have joined in person. Uh, I am very delighted to welcome Amedavini Ji to uh, uh, participate in uh, this le interesting lecture series. Uh, we launched this uh, lecture series, the India Island Friendship uh, Lecture Series in uh, May 2022 and it has been running uh, very efficiently thanks to the energy and dynamism of my colleague Amedavini and this marks 63rd episode in the India Art and Friendship Picture Series. So it's a very good, very auspicious uh, milestone for our, our program. Uh, the idea behind this program is to disseminate positive stories and uh, innovations uh, from India and, uh, and Ireland through virtual platform. Uh, so that there is a minimal expenditure and maximum uh, dissemination of the positive stories coming from each side. Uh, so, uh, uh, we have been particularly keen to project the ethos of Ek Bharat Shresth Bharat representing the plurality of India, uh, not only in terms of regional diversity from different parts of India, but also sectoral diversity. The kind of themes that we are choosing, uh, we are choosing in a manner that the vitality and vibrancy of whole of India is reflected through this lecture series as well. Uh, today's lecture is very interesting because uh, you are going to present uh, to us and our uh, viewers uh, innovations in uh, the ancient classical dance tradition of Bharat Natyam. Uh, unfortunately, I am not a dance expert, but I have read Natya Shastra and I'm interested in Sanskrit. So uh, I really marvel at the genius of Bharat Muni uh, who composed uh, Natya Shastra. Uh, it is indeed like, it's comparable to like Mahabharat or Ramayana, it's, it's like such comprehensive in its approach. And uh, it's not just about like physical movement as uh, Western dance traditions are. Uh, Indian classical dance tradition based on Bharat Natyam is uh, an entire ecosystem of knowledge. Incredible. Uh, and if you look at uh, like the, the presentation, uh, uh, the Natya Shastra includes almost like vivid representation and understanding of the whole existence. Uh, so not only the society but also your own self. Uh, and uh, the ultimate goal is uh, like self-realization through different techniques. Uh, and also in terms of the understanding of the human society, human mind, the, the emotions that one goes through uh, uh, and the diversity in the, in the society, everything uh, has to be absorbed by the dancer so that he or she can uh, present uh, the reality. Uh, and, and also in terms of the richness, it's incredibly rich. 
Uh, if you look at uh, the number of uh, uh, hast mudras, how uh, one hast mudra or sayukta hast mudra or even the foot gestures, so each one or the positions of uh, neck, so each one is a, like an alphabet. Uh, as in 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 speak in in speech in our speech, uh, you use akshar uh, to make shabd. And through shabd you make pad, and then through pad combining padas you make a sentence. In the same manner, these are alpha alphabets of the medium of dance. Uh, so it's a very very fascinating uh, area to study. Even if people who are not dancing themselves, it's a great area to study. Uh, and uh, and. Today's presentation, today's theme is particularly interesting because it's combination of the ancient style, the classical tradition of Bharatanatya with the modern innovations and research that uh, your Guruji has done. Uh, our ways is a pranam to her and we look forward to learning uh, through your presentation. Very warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. demonstration in the presence of Ambassador Sri Akhilesh Mishra sir. My pranams to all the guests who have gathered here and the ones watching online. My presentation today is on a very unique recent development and research in the field of Bharatanatyam. Deshi Marga Adam. A new movement vocabulary which is extensively researched and artistically designed by my renowned guru, Srimati Nirupama Rajendra, a Bharatanatyam and Kathak exponent from Bangalore. Let me begin with what is Deshi Marga Adam? Can we have the next slide? I shall break down the terms starting with an Adavu. Adavu is a fundamental unit of movement in Bharatanatyam. It is the basic step with which you begin your training in Bharatanatyam. There are different categories of Adavus, starting with the very first category of Adavu called Taktadavu, where you are in the half sitting position, which is called Aremandi in Bharatanatyam, and you, we stamp our foot like Te Ya Te, Te Ya Te, Te Ya Te, Te Ya Te, and so on. So this is the first category. And then there is, we move on to the next category called Natadu, where you stretch your foot either sideways or forward, like te yu ta ta, te yu ta ha, te yu ta ta, te yu ta ha, te yu ta ta, te yu ta ha. And so on, there are different several other categories. Coming to the term deshi translates to regional, like how in our country, Bharata, there are different states. And each state has its own cultural practice. Similarly, we have different regional dance styles. Speaking of Indian classical dance styles, we have Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Mohiniyattam, and so on from the south, south, southern part of India, while we have Manipuri, Kathak, Satriya, and so on from the northern part. Coming to the term Marga, it is a path a path of classical tradition. In dance terms, it is often referred to the practice of dance codes prescribed in Natya Shastra. And our ambassador sir spoke so beautifully about the text Natya Shastra. It is a Sanskrit treatise on performing arts written by Bharata Muni. And it is, it is not limited to the geographical boundaries of India, but has extended itself to the Southeast Asian countries and beyond. So Marga is like a tree and all the Deshi dance forms that have emerged out are like the branches of that tree. Can we have the next slide? Let's move on to the background of Deshi Marga Adavu, an inspiration to this research work of my guru. 
I would request you all to observe the images of sculptures. When you look at these sculptures, you do not find them in linear patterns or in straight lines. They are always curvilinear. They have curves, they have deflections, they have a weight shift called bhanga. In, normally when we do Bharatanatyam, there is a summer bhanga where the weight is equally distributed. But here in the sculptures we can see vibhanga and tribhanga mentioned in the Natyashastra. This would be a dvibhanga. This would be called as Tribhanga. Where there is an S shape created in the structure. Next slide. The images of sculptures, the temple sculptures that you just saw, are actually frozen units of an entire movement called Karana. Karanas are the 108 dance movements described in Nati Shastra. And for a very long time, these uh, dance movements were thought of as static postures. But after an extensive research for over two decades by my Paramaguru, Dr. Padma Subramanian, she not only revived but also reconstructed these movements which are dynamic in nature. I will demonstrate the very first karana called Tala Pushpakuta. was the very first karana and so on you have 108 of them. Can we have the next slide? My guru who has been trained in the Nati Shastra movements or the karanas for over 25 years now and she has been passing on this tradition to several other dance practitioners. She has now created a bridge between the Deshi form that is Bharatanatyam and the technique of Marga of Nati Shastra through her research work Deshi Marga Adavu. As I mentioned there are different categories in the Adavu. My Guru divided the Adavu system into 12 categories and in each category she designed the movements and brought in many variations. These sum up to 108 new set of Adavus which are aesthetically beautiful as well as functional. Now another interesting aspect of the Deshi Marga Adavu are the names of it. You have names for Abhinay Hastas mentioned in Nati Shastra and several other texts such as there is Pataka, Tripataka, Arthapataka, Karthari Mukha, Mayura and so on. We have names for the Shiro Veda and Trishti Veda and so on. But here for the very first time each and every Adavu has a Sanskrit name. These names have been coined by Dr. Shatavadani R. Ganesh, a great Sanskrit scholar. These names have been given to each Adavu depending on its functionality, the flow of the Adavu and the emotion that it evokes. Can we have the next slide? My Guru designed these movements by combining the Marga technique in the upper body and the Deshi foundation in the lower body. I shall demonstrate and explain. The Marga technique, uh, one of the Marga technique is called Nritta Hastas. We have Abhinay Hastas such as Pataka, Tripataka, Arthapataka. But here there are 13 Nritta Hastas described in Nati Shastra. I would like to demonstrate a few. Chaturashro Tatha Udvrita Tatha Chaturasho Tatha Udvrita Tatha Talamu Kausmrita Talamu Kausmrita 
were the few dritta hastas and like so there are 30 of them in natya shastra and then uh, this combined with the deshi adavu which would be for example nat adavu the leg will be doing the nat adavu and in the upper body the very first dritta hasta called chaturasha and the other hand doing the lata hasta one and one and two i will be demonstrating this with the music can we have the music uh, this is the very first deshi marga adavu called tolika Well as the karanas and how they blend in to enhance the aesthetic beauty. 
presenting Pushpanjali.
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅನುರಾಗಿಕ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಶೈ ಹೀರೋಯಿನ್ ನಾಯಿಕ ಹೂಸ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಹರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹರ್ ಹೀರೋ ಟು ಹರ್ ಸಖಿ Thank you, everybody.